With everything going on in this country, I think it's really important that we all have plenty of skills so we're able to be more self-reliant and we don't have to rely on others. So today, I've got 10 skills that I think every prepper should learn. Number one, grow your own food. I think everybody should know how to grow food. If you can only grow food in containers, that's great. Container gardening is wonderful. I like to do both because they both work well. Different things grow better in different ways. But container gardening is wonderful. If you've got a little piece of land, you can put a garden in. Even growing stuff in the house. Grow some herbs in the windowsill during the winter. Just grow something learn the process you know just sticking a seed in a pot and throwing some water on it and forgetting about it isn't going to help you it ain't going to make it that way you've got to nurture it take care of it learn about amending soil i think that is super important and saving seeds when you have grown food you can take those seeds out you're chucking them out to begin with most of the time or putting them in compost or feeding them to the chickens or whatever but learn how to save those seeds so next year you can grow more number two foraging i think foraging is an amazing skill and a lot of people don't have it i think it's so important to learn because there is so much food around us that we can get nutrients from even if we can't grow food you could go out and collect food you can learn about mushrooms um, eating the roots of a cat nine tail a lot of people don't know that you can dig up a cat nine tail and the roots are edible or underneath certain wild they look like wild sunflowers but they're jerusalem artichokes underneath it's like a potato the roots there are so many different foods out there that we can eat we just have to learn about them so i think foraging is a huge skill that people should learn if you can take a class or you know someone that forages definitely get out there learn that skill number three hunting and fishing hunting and fishing are another way to get food that you can do whether you're using a fishing pole a bow and arrow, a rifle, a handgun, trapping, whatever it is, I think hunting and fishing are a huge skill for everybody to learn so you're able to get food. Number four, this is a great skill, sewing. I think sewing is hugely important. You don't have to be a master seamstress or anything, but learning how to wield a needle and thread, hand needle and thread, just so you can darn a sock, fix a hole in your jeans, fix a rip in your jacket, repair a curtain, anything like that. Maybe you could make clothes if you have to make clothes. Back in the depression, they used flower sacks to make little girls dresses. And that's why flower sacks had pretty prints on them. Uh, when the flower companies got wind of it, they put those prints on, on the flower sacks so little girls would have pretty little dresses because they knew that people did not have enough money to buy clothes and they were making dresses out of them and clothing for their children. So I think it's really important to learn how to just use a needle and thread and you know a sewing machine is great if you have that skill but you may not always have electricity to run it. If you have a treadle that's even better but hand sewing quick little projects repairing a button anything like that i think it's really important to learn that number five how to build a fire everyone needs to know how to build a fire if the grid goes down at any point even just for a couple days you've got to be able to cook food boil water keep yourself warm whatever it is if you have to bug out and you start going to learn how to build a fire when you bug out you could be in serious trouble it looks easy it is not always easy if everything is wet and it's been raining for weeks you're going to have a hard time 
You need to know what to look for and how to build a fire. Number six, how to filter water. Filtering water is a great skill to have because you may have hundreds of gallons of water stored up. But if we went into a civil war and it lasted for decades, you're going to run out of water. Learning how to filter water and collecting water from a stream or something like that is a huge skill and I think everyone should know how to do that Number as well. Number seven, preserving food. If you don't already know how to preserve food, now is a great time to learn. Even if it's just simple, like pickling or smoking food or dehydrating food, there are some really simple methods that you can use to preserve food that will last you for months, even years. So I think that's really important. I think freezing food is great, but if the grid goes down, it's not very useful if you don't have electricity to run a food. Number eight, first aid. First aid is just life-saving. Everybody should know it. A cut can get infected if not cared for properly, and then you're gonna lose an arm or a finger or whatever. You could die from the infection. It's very important to learn how to, care, to clean a wound, bandage a wound, sling a broken arm, uh, anything like that. Put a tourniquet on to stop bleeding. Um, those are very simple things and that are easy to learn, but I think a lot of people don't know them and it's easy to practice them. I'll just grab your husband, grab one of your kids, let's play and you know, you can practice wrapping an arm hand up or putting a splint on a finger or a leg or things like that. Even, you know, practice stitching for a couple of stitches. And if you got a really deep cut and you needed a couple of stitches, Don't practice, practice that putting on your stitches kids. in. <laughs> Use an orange or, or some leather or something. If you have a couple pieces of leather or one piece, cut it and stitch it together. It's going to be a little more... Leather's tough to stitch by hand, but don't do it on your kid. It's okay to do it on your husband. He gives you Number nine, time. learning how to make tools. I think tools, if you don't have tools or if you have one survival knife and it breaks, what are you going to do? You need to know how to make another knife, how to make different kinds knowing of how to make a spear arrows a fishing hook any kind of tools like that rope you can make your own rope there are tons of different so ways i really to do think it. that tools are an important thing to learn how to make just because eventually what you have could break and knowing how to make a new one is and really number 10 important. knowing how to build a shelter it looks really easy in videos people make it look so easy believe me it is not that easy we have made a few shelters, and I think it's an important skill to have. And you know, if you could take a bucket of water and dump it over the top after, really building a shelter that is waterproof is not simple. So out of stuff that you find in the woods, we have done it a couple of times just to learn it and practice it. And I think it's an important thing. We get the kids involved. Everyone should learn how to do it, I think. Because if you ever had to leave your home, where are you gonna go? You've got to at least be able to cover yourself from the weather and be safe. So building a shelter is another great that skill is it. to have. For my 10 skills that I think every prepper should learn, I think they're all hugely important. And I think you should learn them right now. Don't wait on skills. Skills are something that you learn now and you practice, and then when you need them, you know how to do it. If you don't practice these things and you get out there and you try to do, you think, oh, I saw someone light a fire on a video and it's easy. Well, it looks easy and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it'll go up like a champ and other times you might fight with it for hours to try and get a fire going. You might fight all day long with it. It can be very difficult. So I think practicing these skills and knowing in different types of situations is really, really important. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.